28th today, nearly bank holiday, it's long bank holiday weekend this weekend. Um, today we are off to the Wonder Valleys. Um, we're on the way now as I speak. How are you driving? Say good morning. Good morning. And yeah, we're going to the valleys to, guess what guys? We're going to check out the charity shop. <laughs> Start again. We're going to check out the charity shops up there again. Um, I say again, we've never been up there, have we? No. It's a place we've not been to before. So, yeah, I thought I'd take you with me, guys. I'm going to turn you around and um, show you a bit of scenery in a minute. I should have said, hello, my name's Penny. Welcome to my channel. My channel is Being Penny B. Little snippets of my life and all sorts of bits and bots. I do hauls, I do try-ons. Um, I used to do a bit of makeup but I haven't done that for a while. Maybe I'll get back into that. Um, I do days out. I do all sorts of things. So it's a lifetime, <laughs> a lifestyle channel. Um, yeah, so that was my introduction because I forgot to say it in the little bit just before. Okay, bye. <laughs> We are currently in Ponty, Ponty Priest. When we left Cardiff, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day. And um, I said, oh, I'm not gonna need a jacket. So I put like a little rain jacket in the back of the car thinking, you know, put it on if there's a shower, but it's so warm, I'm not gonna need it. Get to Ponty, the temperatures drop by three degrees and the sky is black. Can I just say that yeah. we've lived in Wales all our lives and I'm the one in a jacket. Yeah, but you always got a jacket on. I'm, I'm the one with common sense. In Wales, you always wear a jacket. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you. There's a, a pub there, a Ponty pub. <laughs> There's nothing to show you at the moment. Look at the houses there up on the mountain. Oh, that sky looks black. Oof. What's the traffic jam? I'll show you a bit more when I got more to show you. Oh, there we go, we're moving. So we are going to Ponty. There's Ponty Town Centre down there. And yeah, just going into the valleys, guys. So there's the River Taff. Well, it was. I couldn't get into it. We're in Hops Hopkins Town now, getting further up the valleys. That sky don't look good, does it? I don't know what it is, guys, but every time I come up the valleys, my Welsh accent comes out. It's like it's like being home. It's like coming home. I've never lived in the valleys personally, but my family are from the valleys. Um, well, my granddad was. Um, only really my granddad on my mum's side I don't know about my dad's side I don't think they were from the valleys but um, yeah it's like coming home I always feel I always feel safe and secure and happy when I come up the valleys Tom Jones's song The Green Green Grass of Home was inspired by uh, by Wales, because he lived in Wales, by the Welsh Valleys, and I do agree. We've got some beautiful scenery, guys. I'm not sure how much the camp is actually picking up, but yeah, we're going past all chapels and all sorts of points of interest. I think this is an old coal mine coming up by here now. A speeding camera home. Yeah. That's an old mine. I don't know how much of it you can see behind the trees. It's the Vonda Heritage Park and um, it tells you the story of the miners and how they lived years ago and how they mined for coal. Uh, it's very, very interesting. This uh, restaurant there attached to it. 
I'm just trying to show you points of interest as we're driving along. Going past Chiorki in a minute. When um, Howard lost his job, I'll turn you round. When um, Howard lost his job uh, to his ill health, to um, his MS, when he could no longer work, <coughs> we actually came up here looking at property to buy, didn't we? Yeah. We saw some beautiful houses, but they were a bit far out, really, because our life is in Cardiff. Um, both our daughters' work at the time was in Cardiff. Um, family in Cardiff and Barry and that area so we decided not to not to move up here but we did see some lovely property and I'd have been in my element because as I said I just feel so at home I don't know what it is guys do you feel like that when we got the valleys yeah I love the valleys hmm. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say the valleys in this video <laughs> stuck in traffic make a nice change out actually because we we haven't really been up here much no the house we looked at it was too it was on a hill wasn't it yeah <laughs> we could have walked up that hill no it was a bit of a it was a gorgeous house i mean this side. was like mm, nearly 10 years ago now yeah. that we were looking at properties up here and although howard's ms was pretty bad i mean it wasn't as bad as it is now and my i hadn't had my operation that was botched so i was more mobile than i am now but we'd never we'd have had to have had the mobility school to each and just yeah. took our foot four off the brake and go down the hill four by four mobility yeah scooter. it was really bad so yeah in a quarter of a mile at the roundabout take the second exit onto Cummer road a4058 Sorry about that, we've got the sat nav on. So yeah, it would have been easier to stay in Cardiff, so that's what we did. But yeah, I'm gonna turn you around again. Well, the charity shop in that particular village, there were two and then um, it was pretty much a write-off so we're going to travel further on up and have a little look but we've stopped by this gorgeous little waterfall and river so i thought i'd get out and film it and show you so i don't know where we are i haven't got a clue but it's a river here i don't want to go down the bank because i'll fall and i'll never be able to get back up again but there's like a little like a little waterfall I guess there and the river and there's a bridge but obviously I don't want to fall down the water's coming from under there I must be going into the tap the river that winds to uh, South Wales is the tap and there's a car park up there so God knows where we are It was so beautiful. I just had to stop and film it. Cardiff is a town, 
first, quite nice. So, we're on our way home, excuse the stage, a bit windswept. We are on our way home, my legs are dead, they're killing me, my knees are in so much pain and so is my back and I just want to lay on the sofa and not move for the rest of the day. Um, and Howard don't feel much better, do you? No, my legs are absolutely... Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely exhausted. And I know this isn't a great angle, guys, but I'm virtually laying down in the car. I'm in so much pain. We are going uphill. Well, yeah, that's got nothing to do with it. I'm literally laying down. So I can categorically confirm 100% without a shadow of a doubt that the charity shops up the Ronza and up the valleys and the various places we went to are absolutely shite compared to Cardiff, aren't they? They are definitely. Cardiff has so much more to offer. They were very, very overpriced and very, very old fashioned, um, which surprised me, to be honest with you. I thought that they would be cheap up there, cheaper than Cardiff, but no. They were expensive and they weren't very nice. I picked up three things. Um, yeah, it just, it wasn't a profitable day. But it did um, confirm that where we live, we're extremely lucky that we have, oh, God, I'm in pain, that we have so many around us, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, look at him. I know, I'm done in. Absolutely. She's I've killed me, she has. I've killed myself. Look at the state of me, guys. I said, can we stop? And she said, no. <laughs> Never. You had the whip out. I, wa <laughs> <laughs> I wanted That's to stop. That's another story. I wanted to stop. I did find, guys. Oh. Uh, an Emma Bridgewater dish for a pound. Oh, a little trinket dish. trinket. Yeah, so, yeah, really pleased with that for one pound. Really happy with it. It has crazed. In the sunlight, you can see that it's crazed and there is a small chip on it. But for a quid, guys, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, it just wasn't worth... It was a lovely day out. I mean, nice to get out of the house. Nice and, to be together. Yeah, nice to be together. No bloody arguing from the kids. No. I say kids, I mean, they're, they're old enough to know better. I mean, they're grown up. One's leaving home soon. <laughs> it was nice just to get out and chill for a bit and see some scenery and chat and we went and had some lunch in Greg's that was in Pontypris on really the way back to actually sit down wasn't it yeah it was nice yeah we called into Pontypris as well guys which technically it is the start of the valleys but it's just a little bit up further well, than we the got loaded to a charity shop didn't we so yeah we did really we did yeah. yeah so home for a cuppa two cuppas a couple of cuppas and i'm gonna watch this video back and see if it's worth uploading if it is it's going up today friday the 28th and if it's not i'm not putting a video up today and, and i will see, see you it. all on sunday <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to upload on Sunday this week. Um, I'm collaborating with my lovely friend who I've made since being on YouTube and we've become really, really friendly. We talk nearly every day and her name's Elaine. Can you guess? Silver Moonlight guys. We're doing a little collaboration on Sunday so watch out for that one. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Oh, I didn't say. Stay safe. Stay well. Take care of each other. And be kind, guys. And send me some love. And send him some love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.